Now, um, back in 1999, uh, I was a novice, and I came to Italy with uh, the other novices um, for the Great Jubilee 2000, for the opening of the Holy Doors. And uh, as you may imagine, we visited many places and museums. And one of the novices, he, his name was Pablo Sola Solari, he was a professional painting painter. Okay? And um, in one of the museums, the Gallery of Uffizi in, in Florence, he explained to us how we should look at a painting and how a painter designs the painting. Okay? So he said that the eye, your eye, is drawn to a central point in the painting. Okay? So everything else in the painting is drawn in perspective. Okay? So if you have on the earth houses, people, trees, river, animals, on the earth you have clouds, birds, everything goes to a central point. Your eye is drawn to a central point on the painting. And as we start looking at the paintings in that way, it was true. So, we, wow. So your eye goes to one place in the painting, and everything else goes in perspective to it. Why I am saying this? Because the most important, you can say, pen, painting, or scene, or event in whole human history is Mount Calvary. On Mount Calvary, there are three reasons why. One, because we have the two most perfect creatures ever created. Our Blessed Mother and the human nature of Christ. The most important creatures ever created. Secondly, because it's the most important moment in history. During history, okay, the most important moment is that, that moment when Jesus died. You know that the fullness of time is God made man during Jesus' life. But Jesus' life was all directed to the cross. So properly, literally speaking, Jesus on the cross is the fullness of time. The most important time on earth. And thirdly, is because there is the greatest manifestation of love. The, the greater their love, Jesus and Mary, the more they suffer. They suffered. And as we are unable to comprehend the extent of their love, we are unable to comprehend the extent of their sorrow. Okay? So Calvary is the most important scene in all human history. And as we look at this painting of Calvary drawn by God the Father, by his hand, we can see many objects. You can see Jerusalem, soldiers, people, scribes and Pharisees, clouds. And the... But at the center, we have three crosses. And then we zoom in and we have one cross. And then you zoom in. And you have the body of Jesus. And then you zoom in, and in the center of the whole painting is the heart of Jesus. The heart of Jesus is a central point of this painting. It is as if God the Father has first created the heart of Jesus, then his body, then the rest of the crosses, the whole painting of Calvary, then he drawn the life, the whole life of Jesus, then all human history from Adam and Eve to the very last man on earth. The heart of Jesus is the center of history, the center of the whole scene, like the engine of love 
that sets in motion the sin of Calvary and the sin of all human history. Uh, we look at the heart pierced by the soldier. It was not enough for him to die out of love. Even after death, he wanted to be pierced by a lance. And many centuries, many centuries after, Jesus appeared to Saint Mary Margaret, holding his heart in his hand. And he said to her, Mary, look, behold the heart. He said, behold the heart which has so loved men that it has spared nothing, even to exhausting and consuming itself in order to testify its love. And in return, I received from the greater part only ingratitude by their irreverence and sacrilege, by their coldness and contempt they have for me in the blessed sacrament, in the sacrament of my love. He continues speaking and he ends up saying, you at least love me. Is everybody is irreverent, sacrilegious, sacrilegious, you at least love me. What can we do? A concrete way of corresponding back to his love is for us to make a truly holy communion. When we come here and do, let us do a truly holy communion. You know that it is a well-documented phenomenon that in several Eucharistic miracles in which the host becomes flesh, scientists study that flesh and they discovered that it is a piece, a tissue of a human heart. It's a tissue of a human heart, these miracles. And it's in, in different places. Very possibly, God wants us to leave a message. That is true, we receive the whole body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus. But in a special way, you receive his heart in your tongue. Oh. Today, when we receive the Blessed Sacrament, let us reject all distracting thoughts. Let us not look outside at people, how they are receiving communion. Let us look at Christ, who claims all our attention at that moment. He, Jesus said, when you pray, enter your room, close the doors, close the windows, clo enter your room, enter your soul, close the door, the close your eyes, close your ears, close your senses, and pray to your Father in secret, in silence. And let us listen interiorly to Jesus himself saying, Behold, this is my heart. You at least love me. Okay. Let us ask this to our blessed mother.